First of all, man, congratulations. But I, I want to ask, in the third round, you looked like you were getting a little bit heated in there. You looked like you were getting fired up. What was, what was going on? And just, uh, I was trying to get a like, fight of the night, you know. I was looking after the bonus, and uh, he said that he's, he was going to take me apart. To, so I just want to, I want him to back, back it up what he said, you know. So what, what sort of things were you saying to him in there? Sorry? What were you saying to him? I say like, uh, yeah, let's go, man. Let's let's bang. You know, you, you said let's let's talk now. You said he, you were going to take me apart, so show show this now. You know, like. And I, I heard you. Uh, I heard you say to Dana White that you want to buy a house. Is that yeah, right? yeah, I want to buy a house. That's why I wanted the bonus. Do you think you got the bonus? I hope so. You know, I hope I did enough. I I think he liked the fight. You know, after second round, I saw him. Uh, he was, you know, he was applauding. So I think he liked it. How do you feel about the fight? Did you, were you happy with your own performance? Did Alex do anything that, that surprised you? How do you feel the fight went? You know, uh, I'm not surprised. You know, I, I have a great team, great training partners. Uh, I know my skill set. Uh, I'm getting better every day at ATT, you know. I train with the best fighters in the world, so every day, every practice, you get better. So nothing was a surprise for me. I knew I was come. I knew I was a level above him. And uh, I knew I was going to dominate him. When it went to the judges decision, were you, were you confident that you'd won the fight or were you a little bit unsure? How did you feel when it went to the judges? Yeah, I was very confident because two judges, uh, they gave you the fight like 30-27. Like there's no way I lost the third round, you know. Did you, uh, did you see Alex's face after the decision? Yeah, I saw his face, you know, and uh, after the after third round, he was like, he wasn't the same anymore, you know. But he, he looked very surprised that you'd won the fight. When they, when they read the decision out, he was stood there like kind of surprised. I think he was surprised that like he he didn't expect me to to fight the way that I fought, you know. I think that's what got him surprised, you know. He thought that he was going to he was uh, he was going to do the same thing that he did to his last opponent. So, but I'm not I'm not at the same level his last opponent, you know. Well, fantastic performance and congratulations on the victory. Thank you. If you can, kind of tell us what was the game plan for Alex coming in tonight? What were you, what were you planning on doing and how much of that actually played out out there in the cage? Uh, the game plan was perfect, you know, uh, was stay composed, you know, uh, ready to throw my shots. And uh, because he, he has a lot of holes and you know, he's striking, he, ha he attacks very well, but he doesn't defend himself very well. So that's what was my game plan, you know, wait him to wait these holes and, uh, and attack, you know, because he doesn't have a good defense. And he showed this on almost all of his fights. You know, he got hits, he got hits a lot. Was there anything that he did out there that maybe surprised you? That he either did well or maybe didn't do as well as you thought he would? Uh, just, he just didn't came as aggressive as uh, I thought he would, you know, because uh, I think he, he's getting smarter, you know, pacing himself better. Because if he, if he would become, like, very aggressive and he got tired, it would be even worse for him. And at one point, he seemed like the guy that, the, the UFC was building a lot of hype. He was talking a lot, and he was moving up. Do you think a victory over him, you kind of st stolen that hype from him and maybe pushed your own stock up a little bit? Yeah, yeah, of course. I think, like, I steal his hype, you know, and uh, three victories in a row, three big names. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm in a great, great momentum in my career. And I think he's, like, uh, overrated. Well, I was going to say, with the three, the three victories that you've had over some really good name opponents where do you think that that really sort of establishes you in the division i know a lot of fighters don't pay too much attention to the rankings but personally where do you feel that you fit within the division uh the last three opponents that i beat uh all of them could be top 15 easily and uh i deserve i earned a top 15 opponent now are there any particular names that you would love to see yourself against next i think Aoya quinta would be a great test that would be a good one how do you see that fight playing out same way that did, same way as today went. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, looking at 2021, what sort of goals are you setting for yourself, and how many times are you hoping to fight before the end of the year? I want to fight three more three more times this year. You know, I want to stay active. I'm uh, I'm young. I uh, I'm always training, so I want to stay busy. Congrats on the victory. Thank you.